We could learn more today about the St. Paul murder suspect whose investigation led to his own cousin's death and sparked another growing cry for police reform. Mary Almost live in our newsroom with what is happening today in Ramsey County Court. Al? Well, Jason, we know that Makai Speed is appearing in court today for the first time since his arrest in Winona last week. He's going to be in court today for reasons unrelated to his re recent murder charges, but we're hopefully learning more about his criminal history here. Speed is the suspect's name in the warrant that prompted the police raid earlier this month where Amir Locke was shot and killed. Now, going back to where this case all started last month in St. Paul, police believe Speed was involved in the shooting death of 38-year-old Otis Elder. Police say the getaway car used in this murder is tied to other crimes around the Twin Cities, so they issued a search warrant. Police went looking for evidence to make an arrest in these crimes, which led them to here, the Bolero Flats Apartments in downtown Minneapolis on February 2nd. MPD SWAT got a, an approved no-knock warrant to enter an apartment on the seventh floor where they believed the suspect or someone who knew the suspect lived. Instead, within nine seconds of walking into that apartment unit, SWAT officers came across Amir Locke. He'd been sleeping on the couch and was holding a gun. As soon as officers saw that weapon, they made that split-second decision to fire, killing Locke. Now, what ties all of this back to Makai Speed, Amir Locke is Speed's cousin, and the apartment that police raided is where Speed's brother lives. Again, we expect Speed to be in Ramsey County Court today. We also learned that Amir Locke's funeral is happening this Thursday at Shiloh Temple in North Minneapolis, and we're told Reverend Al Sharpton will be giving the eulogy. All right, lots to watch today and this week. We'll be on it, Marielle. Thank you.